Hello everybody, my name is Trudel, and today I'm going to be bringing you all a very, kind of, probably longer than it should be, video on how to use Arma 3 Sync. This is mainly meant for the people in the NSIB, but it can be used for anybody um, in any sort of unit or whatever you do with Arma 3 Sync. So, anyway, so first things first, uh, you need Java Runtime Environment. 99% chance that you have it. If you don't, it's linked in the Bohemia, or in the Armaholic page. And you're going to want to download this off of Armaholic, 3 megabytes. It's not particularly huge. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and install it, uh, taking way longer than it probably should, but Arma 3 Sync is bad. So you're just going to download it, it's Arma, um, Armaholic, it's perfectly fine. This is where you should be getting your mods, for the most part, anyway. You can buy WinRAR, or you can extract, um... It regardless, so we're gonna just go ahead and install this to my big SSD. Uh, we're gonna open up the big SSD, just extract it like you would any other folder because you're a smart person, I believe in you. Um, now we're gonna head over to my big SSD, uh, my movie. Let's just find it. Arma 3 Sync Installer. There we go. So we're gonna want to run this, we're gonna want to run this. It doesn't matter where you install it, um, you're gonna want to accept these boring terms. Actually, these are pretty short terms in service. But, you know, okay, so you want to select somewhere to install your Arma 3 Sync. It doesn't matter where, uh, this doesn't mean that this is where your mods will install by default. You, your mods will install wherever you set them to. Um, so for me, I'm just going to install it. Do, 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 do. We're just going to make a new folder. F slash Arma 3 Sync. We're going to click OK. Then, uh, do you want to create one in the shortcuts? Just. Uh, I'm going to say no. Actually, I'm going to say yes. Do you want to create a desktop icon? I don't know. Do you? Okay. There we go. Launch Arm 3 Sync. Yeah. You want to give it admin privileges. Um, a new update's available. We're not going to update that because I'm lazy. Please select Arm 3 Executable Location. Uh, for this, it's... I just got to check where mine's installed real quickly. Hopefully that goes onto my second monitor. Nope, it didn't. Uh, so now you guys can see all my games and such. Let's just go Arma 3 Properties. I forgot to install this. I was meaning to install this onto my SSD. So mine's installed my E drive. Um, and then you're going to just go back over to Arma 3. Uh, desktop, Documents, this PC, E drive, Games, uh, Scheme, Scheme Apps, Common, Arma 3, and then you're going to want to install it, Arma 3.exe. Okay, there we go. So, available add-ons. These are the mods that we have now. Uh, it auto-recognize this is where it will. By default, it will install to, like, wherever your Arma 3 is located. So, uh... Yeah, keep in mind, you do not have to launch this via Arma 3, um, sync, this is just more of a mods getting thing, and that being said, you can launch it, but, oh, uh, excuse me, um, personally, I choose not to, okay, um, so now, in order to do this, uh, that's an external app, so that's not what I wanted to do, um, I'm just going to delete that, okay, then you want to log over to repositories, click the add new repository, now, what you have here is a bunch of boring stuff. From the SIB, we don't have too many things. It's a much more simple on the three things than you'd think. Um, now, in theory, you should be able to get public uh, auto-config URL and repository names and stuff. For me, uh, the repository name and host URL are not going to be pretty complicated. You can mind, a lot of servers will have login and password information. Uh, what this means is that... Uh, the TLDR is that this acts as essentially a remote file browser, something you can do FileZilla, um, or an FTP of any sort, and so you need login information. That being said, a lot of servers are sent to anonymous because it's just a lot easier, and, uh, that you will only have download permissions, not upload, or you will have any access to anything on here. So, for us, we're just going to click anonymous, port this will be something that they'll give you, again, host or URL, again, this will be another thing that they give you, they'll give you all this information, uh, this is the information for the SIB mods, now, public auto-config URL, you don't need that, it just sets up a bunch of, uh, settings, um, and the like, you don't need that, some 
things will give it to you, but I personally don't have it. Repository name. Uh, this is going to be something that you need, and just... Or, I guess, if the repository name, um, but for the SIB, we do not have a... Uh, this is what we have. Now, keep in mind, it needs to be... Ha it's ca uh, caps and letter-sensitive. It's stupid. So, for us, it's NSIB mods. Like that. It matters, okay? Uh, you can click advance, connection timeout, millisecond, re-timeout, milliseconds, it doesn't matter. Now we're going to check the repositories. There we go, NSIB mod, status. Then you're going to click this button, connect your repository, it'll connect, hopefully. Now, default destination folder, you can uh, change that in the, I believe it's launcher options, or... Um, yeah, there we go. So, uh, add on search direction, add on search directions. If you have somewhere else sorted, uh, look through it here, okay? Uh, so, if we want to say add, all of my mods are located in my, I believe it's my, just, uh, I forget where it is. It's like D drive, and then, actually, it's this, and then big drive. I lied, it is uh, biggest drive, arm three. Uh, yeah, I have mods there. Um, but for the sake of it, we're not going to check that, because there's about 200 gigabytes of mods in there. Default destination folder, it's, uh, you can also change that in the, I believe it's just add-on options. Add-on search directories, and then you have to add it, so if we add, say, a new folder, swaggity, swag, uh, open, and then if we want to do default destination folder, add it to that, then we can do check, and, oh no, what a surprise, in an empty folder called Swaggy Swag, we don't have any mods. Now, what you want to do, um, in order to install mods, you just want to click on, you want to checkbox them, uh, you can just checkbox, actually no, you can't, but, you know. Um, and if you are, say, missing a particular, uh, .pbo or anything of the like, you can just click on it. So you can do, if you, for some reason, are missing the A3 add-ons, uh, add-ons advanced ballistics.pbo, um, you just want to click on that. If you're not missing that, uh, then you don't select it, but you can select individual PBOs. Uh, for the sake of it, we're just going to select that, Zodiac CRRC. Now, we're just going to click this button, start resume, Arma 3 is currently running because it's currently running. Um, well, okay. Um, Arma 3 is currently running, you what? Uh, that's weird and probably a bug with my computer, so disregard that. So we're downloading the mods, and it, for some reason, wants to download, uh, all an Arma train pack. So let's stop that really quick, just for the sake of examples. So we are going to select Zodiac CRRC, make sure that's the only thing selected. You can select mods at will, Arma 3, like I said. Download is finished! Yay! Um, and then if we go and take a look in here, uh, where did I call it? It was my documents. Um, Swiggy Swag. Walkers, uh, all in Arma train pack. We're just going to delete that, because that's a bad folder. And look, uh, Zodiac CRC, we have the add-ons, we have the keys, we have the sync info, all the different things, um, that we need. Also, just quick check with the PBO, um, we're just gonna check, like, yeah, there we go. PBOs, yay! Um, and then what you can do is, uh, you can just go and, um, start game, and, yeah. Uh, keep in mind, for the sake of this, we're not going to do that, because Arma 3 is going to be AIDS cancer, and not want to do that. But for, um, the sake of what I'm going to recommend doing, because I personally don't recommend doing that, because I don't know, frankly, how to do it. Uh, for us, we're just going to do something a lot more simpler. Uh, we're just going to boot up Arma 3, and it's on my second monitor, let me drag it over here. We're going to go to Mods. Uh, please exit Arma 3 to manage your mods. Um, you are AIDS cancer, Arma, I know. Um, check for Arma 3 IEXE. Uh, for some reason, my computer thinks that Arma 3 is, like, launched or something. Um, and task. There we go. Um, okay, so, because this is apparently AIDS, and it doesn't think that we're actually exited, 
and that's an issue. Um, we should have a pre-sized vanilla. Um, vanilla. Okay, but uh, then, once we're here, uh, for whatever eighth cancerous reason, it doesn't want us to load it, um, or think that we're out of Arma 3, um, there will be a little, uh, play, um, so you can play without mods, you can do a play with any of these, uh, but what you want to do is there's going to be a little plus folder here, and then in the very bottom, and I regrettably can't show you because Arma's AIDS cancer, um, but then you, with that, you're just going to want to simply do something very easy, you're just going to click the plus folder, navigate over to where you installed your Arma 3 mods by Arma 3 Sync, uh, and then if there's any additional mods that I didn't put in the same folder, for instance, in the SIB, there's a mod called Bullet Casings that adds bullet casings, and I highly recommend it, even though it's a, it's a server-side mod, or stuff like JSRS or BlastCore, any client-side approved mods by whoever you're hosting from, or using your mods, you're just going to want to add all those, boot up Arma 3, um, question mark, question mark, question mark, profit, this is it, it, um, a few things with Arma 3 Sync, it's, Arma 3 Sync is very good, it doesn't want me to know it's been nearly as much as Armaholic, it, it's a godsend, because it doesn't do that, it's, uh, it limits it to pretty much whatever your server computer allows, also, uh, this generally means that the, wherever you're hosting it from is a bit more professional, that means that they have their own server box instead of just writing a server, um, so take that as you will. Uh, so that's how you use Arma 3 Sync. It's, I'm sure that there's better ways to do it, but that's how I encourage everybody in the NSIB to do it. TLDR, get Arma 3 Sync, put in information, install, boot up Arma 3, select the mods. It's, you don't need to do the boot up Arma 3 and select the mods if you don't want to, but I recommend it, because, again, that allows you for a bit of customization with your .pbos, or not with your .pbos, um, rather with your files and any additional mods that I believe that you can do by Arma 3 Sync, but you don't need to worry about that. Anyway, this is probably a horrible excuse of a guide. Do you have any questions? Do you have any comments? Do you have any concerns? Feel free to leave them all in the comments. Um, if for some reason uh, the mod list that you saw went ahead and interested you a bit, and you're curious about checking out the NSIV, feel free to add me off of Steam, uh, check out our website, or come into our team speak. All of those will be linked in the description. Thank you all for watching. Uh, feel free to like, comment, um, favorite, subscribe, and RIP 10th MD.